Hey, what is going up, guys? This is Antiara giving you a newest update today about a recent trailer that actually came out not a couple of hours ago. And that trailer was Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V was actually rumored that the Capcom might have been uh, in development like a couple of a uh, couple of months ago before they came out with Street Fighter 4 Ultra which I'm guessing that's going to be their last installment of the Street Fighter 4 uh, uh, version so what I'm hoping was that they might actually have newer content onto Street Fighter 5 now if any, if any of you guys have seen any of the trailers of Street Fighter 5 you guys are very freaking lucky because if if you've actually been trying to look up Street Fighter 5 uh, trailers, then you're not gonna go anywhere, cause it, cause Capcom has been trying to find it, like all the links, any of the trailers that's out there, either if it's, it's like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or even YouTube. They're trying to get rid of uh, of their uh, of their trailers that's been logged onto the other people's accounts. And been having in the copyright uh, infringement. So what's what they're doing is that they're trying to keep it as a secret, just having a little bit. They're going Deadpool on us, basically. So what's but what's really cool was that they are able to have screenshots of those uh, of that trailer, which it was okay, but not there was not that much information about it. Not that there's any information about it at all in the trailer, it's just in Japanese. So we wouldn't know what's going on with their new content or anything like that, or a new story-based uh, arc or anything like that. Either they're, they're trying to keep it as the same arcade story, or they're trying to have it as an arcade fully-fledged story. Like, if there's some, um, like, reuse, um... Origins or Akuma's Origins, Goken, uh, Rufus or something like that, Sagats, Bisons, any full-fledged stories that makes their character development even more rich. That's what I'm able to like to see. But what's really cool is that they actually had something just like that, and it's actually one of the characters that I modded in this fight right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it was an Azura's Wrath game. I freaking love Zerus Wrath for their story, but they're light on the on the fights. I just want something that's just like that, but not that sim uh, uh, s cinematic to their uh, to their fighting games. Just something that is just close to that, and I'll just love it because that's what gives it character development. That way, you just don't see oh this guy is just a bad guy just because he does bad things. No, you need to know what the reason why he's bad, or the reason why that this guy is good, or what he's doing for his actions, or anything like that. That's what makes a character develop. Now, here's the thing about it. I'm not very sure if that's actually really true. Because, hey, it's in Japanese, and I've been hearing forums just liking about it. So, I'm wondering about that same way, too. Now, when it comes to movesets, on the other hand, I've seen a screenshot of Ryu bringing back the Dago Perry again. That from Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. It is so freaking awesome that they're bringing it back. They're actually bringing it back onto uh, the fourth generation of Street Fighter, Street Fighter 4. That they're going to be having it in the Omega setup now. That they will be able to uh, to have it into their whatchamacallit, into their... Uh, their movesets into the Omega. So I thought that was actually pretty cool, but a little bit skeptical on which they're going to be using it for. Either it's just going to be using it for just like a Goken parry almost, but it's just like a focus or a red focus attack. I don't know if it's just something just like that. But yeah, um, the content of that game, I'm not really sure about, but the graphics and the environment of what they have is just freaking awesome. They're going away from that cartoony look of the of that Street Fighter uh, they're, they're trying to get rid of. So I thought that was actually really cool that they're doing. Yeah, but other than that, all those besides those screenshots, I'll link you uh, a description below of what 
the screenshots look like. If any of you guys have any uh, questions about that, please go onto uh, to the forums and just ask if there's any for any information about the trailer or anything just like that. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll leave this fight to you guys. I'll see you guys later. NTR heading out.